I'm looking for my friend. Have you seen her? Kimberly? She's really, really tall and really, really wide. If you put a party hat on her, she looks like Big Pen. Well, it's all a bit doomy gloomy, isn't it? You know, we're all self-inspirating and we've all been furballed. Well, I thought, because of that, let's have a look at some of the news that we might have missed. So, let's have a look. Now, Mr Richard Branson, now, he's a bit fed up because he says he's got too much going out and not enough coming in. Well, Mr 3.5 billion, I had a word with Kimberly and Jackie and Shaz and we can put together and for £249 per person, we can rent out your neck of Ireland. As long as it's all inclusive. Jackie said she'll sort your mullet out for you as well. Let's have a look. Now, oh, see, they've all been passing judgment, haven't they, on those celebrities that have been singing at home. Well, they did ask me, but I've got some plaster off in my vestibule. Oh, and I see Idris Elba, he wants to do lockdown for a week every year because of this virus. I'm a bit booked up, Idris, but <laughs> I'll be able to squeeze you in. Tom Jones, oh, my heart bleeds. Now, he says... He was quarantined for two weeks in a terrace house because he had TB once. Well, listen, Tom. That's a two-week holiday in Clamford. Clam in Will, according to me, Auntie Alwyn. Now, Ellie Golding, she sang at an online wedding. That went nice. They did ask me, but my ukulele needs tweaking. And Taylor Swift, she's cancelled all her 2020 performances. Well, that's my news roundup. Might be no Mary Nightingale, but I can sport some slacks on a Tuesday. <laughs>